this is part of Arkansas Thrifters and I'm here with another video. I'm sorry this one came a lot later than it should have been, but it's been a really busy week and I've just been too tired to post a video. Um, this one is regard this video is regarding a category I just recently got into and is hats. A lot of you are like, how do you mail a hat? How do you store a hat? How do you photo a hat? Well, the photos will take on another video, but the first two I will do. I will show you how I personally store and mail. So, let's get on with the storing. Storing part will be easy. Say you got a hat. This is a hat I just recently got. It's already up on eBay. And you already took your photos, you're trying to figure out what's the best way to store this to keep it clean. Best simple answer. Gallon storage bag. Uh, you can get 16 of these for 98 cents from Walmart. 98, 97, something like that. And all I do, and I make sure you get the gallon size, not the quart. Get the gallon size. Then, all I do is I make sure that the item is in completely in the bag then I seal it leave some air in I leave air in because I'll show you in a little bit why but if you leave a little bit of air in it'll be nice it'll be poofy it won't really get crushed a whole lot and then that's how I package my hats for storage then I would just toss this into your box, into your crate, into your bag, whatever you use for storage. Sorry, that was funny. So whatever you use for storage, just toss this in there. Now, see that wasn't that was quick, easy, ready to go. Now I'm bet you're wondering how do you ship these and why did you put it in a baggie? First, I'll tell you why I put it in a baggie. I put it in a baggie just in case there are dust in my house. Not only dust, but sometimes when you open up a box, say you got a big old stack. You don't have shelves, but you stack them. Sometimes a box will fall over, open up, and fall on the floor. Happens. I've got crates, so, it, so if they fall, it tumbles out. And you do not want a dirty hat. What's the point in selling a hat if you've got to wash it two or three times because of your error? Save the money, save the time, and just put it in a baggie. Because if this falls on the floor, only thing that's going to get ruined is the baggie. That's it. The hat will stay dry, it will stay clean and dust free. And if you got pets, and you do this in a non-pet environment, and you go home and put this in there and your pet gets in your storage area, guess what? No hair will get on the hat. Also, that's the quick, easy explanation. Now, the way I do my hats to mail them out, not everybody will agree with this. I'm going to say that now. But I do it as a quick, easy way to do it. Now, all you do is grab your hat, keep it in the baggie, and this is where the air comes in. Go get yourself a poly mailer. Yes, I got blue ones. I just recently got those from eBay because I wanted a colored one try to stand out a little bit more. We'll see how it goes. And all you do is slide the baggy hat inside, put in your, I'm going to do a receipt, but do your order form, order detail page in there. Flip it over. Seal it. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to waste the bubble miller. Then what I do to finish it is even if I seal it with the sealing tape, I always tape my envelopes shut. I tape my boxes. I tape my envelopes. I tape everything shut. Uh, even if I use a self-adhesive thing because I've had some packages pop open or open up in transit. So this little bit of tape will go a long way. And then, once that's all said and done, put your label on the front, and it's nice, it's packaged, it's done, drop it off in the mailbox. That's fast, that's easy, and that's why I like hats. 
They're easy to thrift, they're easy to store, they're easy to ship. And there's a lot of items like that, but hats are one of the easiest ones I've come across. The only other, so yeah, they're a pretty good deal. Um, but yeah, this is a little video showing you what I do with hats. So everybody, please have a great day. I am part of Arkansas Thrifters, and I am out of here.